Okay, I'm out here uh, in my little fishing area. You can see the dredge over there. They're doing something. I forget exactly what they're doing, but it's right there. And if y'all recall, I had two, a match set of these right here. And uh, I mean, they wasn't nothing special. They're just uh, field and stream. But I really liked them, you know, a match set. And I don't know how many of you know I've got some wrist issues from surgery. But right there, the first time I tossed it in the water, I kind of backhand threw it and it went in the water right over there. And I went in head first after it. It's about 12, 14 feet deep at low tide. Okay. The second time was about two weeks later. And this is about two months ago, maybe a month and a half ago. And it came out of my hand and was just gone. Before I could do anything about it, it was just gone. And you know, that just ate me up. I was just, <sighs> well, yesterday I was out of the pond and busted the tip off of one of my new Fenwick, the ultralight, uh, that I was gonna do ultralight uh, fishing with. I busted the tip off the damn thing. So I was just like, whatever. You know, can, can I catch a break? So I'm out here, and in case you don't know exactly, right up over there in that tree is an eagle nest, and it's uh, it's kind of cool. You see the male coming over. I think the female's probably setting on eggs, but that's over there. And I went way back up in this this cut or estuary. I was coming out, it's uh, I don't know, what is it, 1 30, 2 o'clock, something like that. Yeah, it's 1 30. And coming back, kind of fishing on the way back, and not have any luck at all, really. And I'm throwing baits in, and right over here is the mouth of the estuary. And I look over, and what do you know? There's my doggone fishing rod. Can you believe that mess? Right there. So, my instinct to just paddle over there like a madman and jump out and get that daggone thing was overcome by my desire to document it. <laughs> so anyways, it looks like I got my doggone fishing pole back. The rod's probably shot, or the reel's probably shot. What I can do to see it, get it back into service. I tell you what, sometimes you can get it blessed when you're least expecting it. Well, it is uh, 2 17 and it's starting to look overcast. Well, it's not starting, it is overcast. And the tide's coming in. It was, that's the little channel that I'm always in right there. Um, not really too many nibbles. Um, use the bait bags, which are really, really for, not for spin ca or casting or spin fishing, you know, throwing them in and reeling them in. That's not what they're for. They're for, you know, a double drop on a pyramid weight out in the surf. That's really what it's for. Maybe here on the river, but just leave it and you know don't mess with it and you know I can't do that and I can't express how jacked I am that I got my reel back it really really bothered me that I had tossed that sucker out in the river and um, lost it so I've got to get this thing back over to the ramp which is right there. Yeah, right there. And get it, all this stuff rinsed off and maybe even partially disassemble this reel and 
say exactly how jacked up it is. I mean, it's usable. It still turns. The spool still turns, so it's not destroyed. I mean, it's a Evan Garcia black uh, black widow, or I don't know what it is. But anyways, it shouldn't completely suck. And the river is starting to take me out into the center and inland. And I don't know if you can hear it or not. That's the eagle over there. Its nest is up in the tree over there. Not the crow. I guess I wouldn't be surprised if uh, the male doesn't come winging it back over here. I, you know, imagining that was the female. excitement and um, you know I really would at some point I am going to get a point of view camera you know I don't know whatever it is uh, whatever they what what call those uh, GoPros uh, they got the new 8 out so I don't know so that I can have it out and waterproof and safe and record some of this nonsense in a first person manner instead of after the fact and me just narrating here my lips flap so and there's uh, dredge and the crane they're uh, building up the seawall over there along all these high dollar call it and plantation riverfront big money houses so that's what that all that mess is over there alrighty Better get it put away and get it put away peace